Hello everyone, so today we will discuss top 50 cloud computing MCQs that will help you to learn and prepare for exams as well as interviews. So let's start with the first question. What is cloud computing? Options are on-premises computing, internet based computing, local server based computing, standalone software computing. Answer is internet based computing. Cloud computing is a model that provides on-demand access to shared computing resources over the internet. So cloud computing is a model, so we can access the resources over the internet. So that is what we call internet based computing. Second question, which of the following is the characteristics of cloud computing? Options are scalability, localized services, fixed capacity, offline access only. So the answer is scalability because uh, cloud computing allows for scalable resources, which means uh, we can uh, adjust the resource based on our demand. So that is what the scalability is. So what is IAAS in cloud computing? So IAAS stands for infrastructure as a service in cloud computing. So we'll jump into the next question. Which service model provides a platform allowing customers to develop, run and manage applications? So in cloud computing, platform as a service, PAAS, that provides customers to develop, run and manage an application. So here you can see, so pass platform as a service that allows users to develop applications without managing the underlying infrastructure. So what does SaaS stands for? So what does SAAS stands for? It stands for software as a service. So you can see the options, software as solution, service, and system as service, security as service. The correct answer is software as service. So which of the following is an example of cloud storage? Options are Amazon S3, MySQL, Microsoft Excel, and Dropbox Paper. So the correct answer is Amazon S3. Amazon S3, it stands for Simple Storage Service. So it's a cloud storage service provided by AWS. So which development model is used by a single organization? So public cloud, private cloud, hybrid cloud, and community cloud. So answer is private cloud. Single organizations, they are mainly used in the private cloud. So what does the term scalability mean in cloud computing? Options are fixed size storage, ability to increase or decrease resources based on demand, unlimited resources, constant bandwidth. So scalability means ability to increase or decrease the resource based on our demand. According to our demand, uh, we can increase or decrease the resources. So what is hybrid cloud options? A cloud infrastructure composed of two or more distinct cloud types, a cloud infrastructure for one organization, a cloud only for government services, a public cloud used privately by individuals. So the correct option is, answer is, a cloud infrastructure composed of two or more distinct cloud types. So in cloud computing, the hybrid cloud represents, it's a combination of uh, public and private cloud. So it's composed of two distinct cloud types. So here, here you can read the explanation as well. Next question, what is the main advantages of using a public cloud? Complete control over resources, high initial investment, shared resources and lower costs, only available to large enterprises. So but the correct answer is shared resources and lower costs. The main advantages of using cloud or public cloud is the resources. And we get in low cost. We need not to install for install uh, physical servers, CPUs, machines, etc. So shared resources in lower costs. So what does elasticity refer to in cloud computing? So the ability to string to zero usage, the ability to dynamically increase or decrease the resources as needed, unlimited storage, fixed infrastructure capacity. So the correct answer is the ability to dynamically increase or decrease the resources as needed. So for that we call it el elasticity in cloud computing. So we can dynamically increase or decrease the resources according to our need or demand. That is what elasticity is. What is multi-tenancy in cloud computing? Hosting multiple services on a single server, the ability to run multiple applications, multiple customers sharing the same computer resources, dedicated resources for single tenant. The answer is multiple customers sharing the same computing resources that we call as multi-tenancy. So multi-tenancy allows multiple customers to share the same hardware and software while keeping the data isolated. So multiple customers can share the same hardware and software, but their data will be isolated or their data will be private uh, that can't be uh, revealed. So this is what multi-tenancy. Which of the following is a cloud management platform? Microsoft Azure, Google Chrome, GitHub, and Microsoft PowerPoint. So Microsoft Azure is the correct option. So it is one of the uh, cloud service providers. Next question. Which of the following is an example of IAAS? So options are Google Drive, Heroku, Amazon EC2, and Microsoft Word. So Amazon EC2 is an example for infrastructure as a service. IA stands for infrastructure as a service. So Amazon EC2, Elastic Compute Cloud, uh, which provides scalable virtual service fitting the IAS model. So which cloud computing model allows an organization to use both cloud services and on-premises services? So options are community cloud, hybrid cloud, private cloud, and public cloud. So we already discussed it's a hybrid cloud. It's it's a combination of both uh, what private private and public cloud. So we can see both cloud services. So what is cloud service provider? A company offering an on-premise software solution. A company that owns data centers but doesn't offer services. 
a company that offers cloud services such as storage, computing power, or networking, a vendor that provides software installations on physical hardware. So we can see the correct option here. A company that offers cloud services such as storage, computing power, or networking is the correct answer. So which one is not a cloud deployment model? Public cloud, virtual cloud, private cloud, and hybrid cloud. So we have uh, public cloud, private cloud, as well as hybrid cloud, which, are, which is a combination of both the private and public. But we don't have uh, uh, something called virtual cloud in cloud computing. So the answer is virtual cloud. What does pay as you go mean in cloud computing? Options are paying a fixed monthly fee, paying based on the amount of resources used, paying upfront for a year, paying for unused resources. So there is a concept uh, in cloud computing, uh, pay as you go, which means uh, you need to pay for the resource, uh, only for the resources that you are used. We need not to pay uh, a fixed monthly fee or uh, the fixed any, any fixed fee. Uh, we only pay for the resources that we use. So that is what pay as you go means. So yes, answer. So what is serverless computing? Options are running applications without any servers, offloading service management to the cloud provider, dedicated server hosting, using server for every request. So the serverless computing means offloading server management to the cloud providers, uh, which means uh, the server uh, provider the server providers will be the cloud so the server providing and management will be done by cloud so we need not to uh, care much about the servers so that will be taken care by the clouds so that is what server computing means so which cloud service model would you use for developing and deploying an application infrastructure as a service pass sas and das so we use platform as a service so we can use platform as a service to build deploy and develop an application so next question in cloud computing what does latency refers to the amount of storage available, delay in data transmission, processing speed, data redundancy. So the latency in cloud computing means delay in data transmission. Here you can see the ex explanation. So latency refers to the time it takes for data travel from source to destination. So that is what latency means. What is vertical scaling in cloud computing? Adding more resource to an existing server, distributing load across multiple servers, reducing the amount of servers, adding new geographic locations. So in cloud computing, there is a concept called vertical scaling as well as horizontal scaling. So in vertical scaling, what we do is adding more resources to an existing server. So for an existing server, we add more resources like CPU or RAM. So whatever the resources needed, we add for the uh, same resource for the same server, we can add multiple resources. That is what is vertical scaling. So you can see the explanation. Vertical scaling increases the capacity of a single server by adding resources like CPU or RAM, etc. Next question: What is horizontal scaling? Adding more servers to a system, increasing server capacity moving applications between regions and reducing storage. So horizontal scaling is also the uh, same like a vertical scaling. Both uh, uh, the main intention is to improve the server capacity or uh, uh, to improve the server's uh, capacity by adding uh, more resources to existing servers in vertical scaling. But in horizontal scaling, we add more servers to the system itself. We add more servers itself. Uh, without, uh, instead of adding uh, more resources to the existing server, we can add more uh, servers itself. So that is what is horizontal scaling. So here you can see horizontal scaling increases capacity by adding more servers, thus distributing the load. Then the load will be distributed among multiple servers. So which cloud computing is specifically designed for a group of organizations? Public cloud, private cloud, community cloud, hybrid cloud. So we have community cloud that is shared among several organizations with similar needs. So what does cost optimization mean in the cloud? Always using the most powerful resources, minimizing the use of cloud services, managing resources efficiently, to reduce cost, prepaying for the cloud resources only. So the answer is managing resources efficiently to reduce cost. That is what the cost optimization is. Okay, that's it for the video. I hope you liked the video and see you in the part two. Thank you.